We are at the trailhead. It is our first walk of the year, and I am so looking forward to this. Uh, the temps right now are in the low 70s, like 71, 72. So, you know, screw it. I'm going to leave my shirt in the truck. <laughs> anyway, it's beautiful out here. It's sunny. There aren't many people about because, well, midday on a weekday, there usually aren't. So, you ready, Lisa? Getting there. She's getting there. We are ready, and off we go. I tell you what. Um, let's see. I'll cover that in a minute up here. Let's get up to the trail. What First, are you covering up? I'm going to cover the time and all that stuff. Oh, okay. Once we get up here, because we're not actually on the trail yet. <laughs> okay, we're headed up to the trail. It's about 2.10 p.m. I'm going to get my watch started and we'll see how far we go. That's my Garmin watch here. Actually, according to my remote temperature sensor on my Garmin watch, it's 82 degrees out here. That is definitely warm enough for a nice hike in the woods. Oh, this is wonderful. Thing is, the yeah, air's going to be nice and warm and sunny today. But this is supposed to cool off for a little while, but that's okay. I hear ducks. At least we're getting this first walk. Okay, down. we're approaching the tunnel. They still got it boarded up because technically it's still winter. Even though it's 82 degrees and sunny, it's still winter out here. I don't mind. Give me global warming. Okay, there's a sign for the Paw Paw Tunnel. We are taking Tunnel Hill Trail, and it says danger, danger. But we're headed up anyway. And up we go. This is the first and steepest part. Yeah. But um, even though it continues going uphill, it's not as steep as this. Y'all hear that? She said, one missed step and you could be in danger while Robin's in danger. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful day. I feel downright giddy. I'm out in the sunshine. Get me some vitamin D. And we'll see how these old legs held up over the winter. These gimpy old legs <laughs> over the winter. I got my uh, very supportive boots on. Well, it being gimpy at all. So, we're going to head on up. And see oh, how we're at what I consider the best view on the trail. At this time of year, yeah, it's kind of breezy up here. I hope you all can hear me. At this time of year, you can uh, you can see very well because there's not much foliage to get in the way. Check this out. You got the Potomac River down there, West Virginia, Maryland, mountains way off in the distance. Yeah, it's warm up here. There's a little bit of a breeze blowing. That's okay. I'm loving it. Okay, we're at the top of the ridge. And we're approaching the gate at the top of the ridge. That thing right there. Let's see how far we've been. 1.42 miles. I know it said 32.57, but you know, I'm not exactly in a hurry today. First walk, walk of the year is basically get out and go for a hike. Get some vitamin D. Enjoy nature. So uh, we're going to stop at the gate, stretch for a little bit, and keep going. And look, it's Lisa. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Eloquent as always. It's just beautiful, warm, and sunny out here. 
I'm just enjoying my walk. Yeah. There aren't any leaves or anything up yet. But it's still a beautiful, warm, sunny day. And when these trees fill out and it gets all green, it's going to get even more beautiful. -er. I can hear the stream trickling through the woods. I tell you. This is definitely a good way to de-stress. Not that I've got a lot of stress here, but you know. Get out. And go for a walk in the woods. Trust me, it's a beautiful thing. Okay, this is the hill that comes down off of that side trail that we've been on. And over here, let me show you something real quick. This little stream coming out of the mountain, that yeah. is actually clean enough to drink. closer you get to the source there and yes I have and no I didn't poo my brains out it's also fun to walk on <laughs> isn't that right Lisa yes. okay where'd she go oh there she is Yes, that's right. There used to be a, used to look like a tartar sitting right there. Right there. Yes, we're having fun out here. It's a beautiful day. We're all outdoors and stuff. It's a booby ribbon. It's a booby ribbon. A booby ribbon. <laughs> it's a pink ribbon. Isn't that special? I tell you, what, let's see what the temperature is. 80 degrees. Still a beautiful warm day seems like the breeze the breeze has died down somewhat which is fine with me oh no. nah that's just turnaround point Wait, that's the end where you go back to the beginning to the beginning just this time though now here's something we always do She's a tree auger. We walk up to the tree and we go ding, ding. Then we go down to this next tree here. Why we do it, I don't know. For good luck. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. <laughs> and she wags her tail at us. And I go. Ding, ding. And then we're going to make our way out to, out to, there's a bug on my glasses. Isn't that cool? <laughs> we're walking through the forest and there's bugs. Who would have thumped it? There's a bug on my glasses. I was about to say, one good thing about going for a hike at this time of year is, well, it's beautiful, it's sunny, it's warm, and no bugs. But there is a bug crawling on my glasses. Yeah, a bug, not bugs. Not a whole swarm of bugs. But a bug. Yep, just the one. <laughs> so you were right. That's true. You don't have swarms of gnats and mosquitoes and other annoying flying insect thingies. <laughs> but you know what? It never really gets that bad up here anyway. And well, you can always wear skin so soft from anyone. Oops. You'll have to edit that out. <laughs> That's alright. This isn't monetized. But last time you wore that, didn't that, didn't that attract bugs? No, that was Henry. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was different physiology altogether. Oh, yeah. The, uh, what was it? Horse flies kept biting him on his bald head. We had a fellow. I guess that's why Marines wear those funny hats. <laughs> yep. We met a fellow. He was a Marine. And he wanted to go hiking with us. But, uh... He couldn't keep up with... No, nah, he didn't make it the whole trail, but, you know, he gave it a good try. Yes, he did. A good old green truck. Let's take a look over here. There is a little island down here. Paul! 
Watch out for the hole. There's a hole, there's a hole. There's, there's a, a hole. There's another hole. Probably used to be trees. Yeah, well, I'm going to see if there's a turtle. Hey, Mr. Turtle! There's a little island down there. Where's the turtle? But I don't see a little turtle on it. Where's or a big turtle. Or any turtle. Maybe uh, it's swimming over there. There's one on that tree over there. So where it went. Do you see him? I know, I know you can't see him on the camera. So I'm going to try and get on video anyway. Where's he at? I thought he was there, but that's just the He's shadow. right. He's near the water. Near the water? Yeah. On the end that's going into the water, oh, okay. there's a big black turtle there. That side? Yeah. That's not a turtle. That's a shadow. That's a turtle. That's a big turtle with a... He's got a nice deep tan on him. Oh no, there is a rope on that log. Almost like somebody lowered it down into the in, in there. Is his head pushing out? No, his whole body's out on the log. The black thing? Yeah. The black oval shaped thing that looks like a turtle? Trust me, it's a turtle. Okay, well, this is actually our turnaround point. And as soon as I ding the bridge, we're going to check out and see how far we've been. This bridge here. Ding! Whoop. There you go. 80 degrees. We've been 2.54 miles. And we're about to turn around. Of course, you know, I always walk back and forth, walk in circles. Wander around and cool stuff. She's bound and determined to find that turtle. Can you see him? No? Just call him a well camouflaged turtle. Yeah, there he is. He's not moving. No, he's not. Okay. Watch your step. Yeah, turtle. It's it, it's a good thing for them to be well camouflaged. Yes, it is. Or somebody's gonna make turtle soup out of them. So creatures don't eat him. Hey, let's check this out. There you go. Lock sixty six. And that looks like a shiny new sign they put up there. All right. Well, it's about time for us to start heading back. And by the time we get home, it'll be time to cook supper. We're having pork chops. I'd like to grill them, but grill them or not, we're having pork chops. We are on the last steep uphill section which on the way out was a steep downhill section. And uh, me and Lisa share pack duties. Meaning, I'm, I'm gonna carry it on the uphill. Cause you know, the uphill muscles in my legs still work. It's the downhill part that gets me. So anyway, you can't really tell how steep it is. But it's a good steep uphill. And by the time you get to the top, you feel like you've accomplished something. So let's head on up there. Um, this is the last uphill before we get to the top where the gate is, I should say. So let's go on up and get to the top where the gate is. Okay, we are once again approaching the gate at the top of the hill. over 300 feet of elevation in about a mile in fact once we get to the gate i'm going to check out and see how far we've been 
All right, ready? Hope you all can see that. 3.90 miles, an hour and 45-ish or so. But from here, it's all downhill. Here comes Lisa. Hello, Lisa. How you doing? Hi. Hi. It's all downhill from here. We're going to do one last stretch. And then head on back to the truck. Woo. 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 We are back at the truck and let's check it out. Uh, 4.97 in just a little over two hours. I'm just going to round it up to five miles. I mean, I could walk around the truck a couple times to get that. Anyway, that is today's hike. First hike of the year. Don't know when the next one's going to be, but we'll, we'll find out. 